All right, the ladies and gentlemen. It's been about a week since I've done a recording, and it's time to continue our adventures in Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. We are now beginning our ascent up to the Burning Eye. Our mission objective is to uncover a key, if you remember from last time, from Coldrim and his band of dwarfs, so we can enter a mine, which I suspect is here, which we will need to progress. We also acquired some nice new weapons. Say hello to the Icy Burst Mithril Dagger, which has a very short range, but it does a lot of damage, and it can also freeze enemies, which will be useful. And we are beginning our progress towards getting the chain mail set so that we can upgrade our character again. And that's pretty much it for now. And we're very close to the next level, so that's always good. So let us head to the Burning Eye base for today's recording, which is the 13th part, I believe. And let's see what happens. We begin our long trek. For now, I think we will still be sticking to Burning Hands. I don't think we need to use Magic Missile for the... Ooh, a wolf. Ooh, a wolf. As you can see, <laughs> almost instantly, there's the effects of the dagger for you. It can freeze and sometimes smash enemies. Although that's more of an execution style thing. If you kill them while they're frozen, sometimes they smash into pieces. So it's like a sub-zero fatality every time you do it. This is the best weapon we can get. At least in terms of, like, damage. It sometimes will do very little damage, and then sometimes it will do a lot. As these wolves are about to find out. So it's a good thing we've been saving up, and oh boy, there's quite a few of them. And they are wolves, so they will be quite agile. We need to be careful. However, as you can notice, we're not taking much damage at the moment. Probably because we're getting better armor, and so forth. As you can see there, when they're blue like that, they're frozen, and will be slowed in, I think it's attack as well, but mainly in movement speed, so very useful, allows you to get more hits in before they circumnavigate you, and therefore easy to deal with. So, because there's one big thing I need to talk about this uh, this time around, and that's the, uh, the outcome of the Choose Your Own Let's Play Again video, which I uploaded about a week ago, funnily enough. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of comments on that. I'm really glad to see that a lot of people have things they want to see, you know? I mean, I always say that I'm a bit worried about the lack of comments, but it seems that a lot of you have an opinion on what game you want to see, and <coughs> what, in general, you'd like to see for my next project, which is good. I commend such enthusiasm. Again, I am slightly hungover today, so don't mind if my words are a bit slurred. But, I have made a decision as to what game it's going to be. I've carefully analysed the comments, each and every one of them. Some of you want to see all kinds of things, really. And it's good to see that there's such a wide variety of games I could play in the future for next time. Although, again, I, always, I would always like to give my uh, audience a choice in what they play. Of course, lots of smashing! Don't worry, it doesn't affect item drops. I do believe, regardless of whether they smash into pieces or not, they still will drop loot. But wolves. These wolves don't seem to be dropping anything. But again, they're not posing much of a threat either, so... Can't move the camera. As I said, here we are, and this is an area where there's a lot of areas with fixed cameras and you will not budge. And we've already made good time. I, I have a feeling this might be quite a short <laughs> part as well, because... Hmm, I just had that feeling. I could be wrong. Might lengthen up in a minute. Although, that being said, I think we're supposed to go up, but we'll have a look around here. Get all the experience we can get off these wolves. So, I've made my decision. This is not the decision. This is just part of the ongoing Let's Play for anyone new to the channel. I've been doing Baldur's Gate for a while. So this will be continuing as normal alongside the new Let's Play, which I will be uploading next. Hopefully, I might do it tomorrow, maybe today, depending. I will hopefully have it up very soon in any event, and <coughs> I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say what it is on this video. I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm gonna wait be a surprise for you. But there is one game on it 
Okay, we'll put a scouting up there. If there's any scouting to be done. There is one game that I know f a few of you have chosen that isn't going to be it. And that is Vampires the Masquerade Bloodlines. And thankfully somebody told me what it was. Speaking of told me who he was, these things which I called Hyena Men in the last episode. Thank you very much to the Terracotta Tiger. They are called Gnolls. And they apparently have a huge encampment in the Baldur's Gate PC game. He encourages me to kill them, quite a bit. So I now know not to correctly call these creatures, they are gnolls. Which makes sense really. I don't know why I didn't think of gnolls, but there you are. Thank you very much for Terracotta Tiger for clearing that up. So I don't f seem silly when I call them hyena men. Although I do think they're kind of that creature, so I wasn't far off the mark, I think. But nevertheless, gnolls, you will die. Take a bit of damage here. Need to be careful, they have a huge hitbox. We don't want to get cornered. Oh, 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 nope. There, be careful. A bit too haphazard here, need to get around the back. Die, Knowles. Ah, good, they're dead. So, as you can see now, as we're climbing the mountain, we're getting more snow and everything. It's been sort of snowing in the background, but now it's gonna get cold obviously we're climbing a mountain why am I climbing the mountain because I am I need to get that burning eye face lit up kind of like signal fires you know you ever watch Lord of the Rings with the signal fires same concept and this time the dwarves have it as opposed to the humans I think anyway why the one a bit there my apologies at least these guys drop loot burning fire doing a nice bit of damage there Hopefully we will get a level, maybe we'll get a level this time, that would be lovely. So I'm just going to do a bit of exploration. As I said, if I could just head up straight up, but why would I want to do that? I want to get as much experience as possible. There doesn't seem to be any weapon drops happening anytime soon, but there's a weapon rack over there, so maybe that's where they're coming from instead. And Huh, it's those kind of tents we saw back in the sewers. They're not being used by bugbears and kobolds this time, instead being used by... Knolls. <coughs> no loot though, other than the weapon racks, which is fine, we, we have enough, we have a fair bit of money already, but we're going to need a bit more, we've got a few items on our shopping list to acquire, we need to get an iron shield plus two, we need to get the chain mail, although I am debating whether to actually get the Elven scale mail plus one because it weighs a bit less and only has one less armor than the chain mails. But I'll come to that later on when it comes to time to actually buying it because it costs a lot of gold, so we probably won't get it this time around. But maybe next time, I think. We don't, seem to be, we don't seem to be doing too bad anyway on the armor front for now, which is good to see. So. And then I think we'll need to buy some different jewelry, possibly some strength jewelry to increase our carry weight, if nothing else. As I can see here it's completely icy. More fitting of the mountain. From Aran Desert to mountain. To uh, icy mountain. As I said, this area has some visually interesting areas and we haven't even begun yet. Although, expect to see a lot of snow. <laughs> So, anyway, I've sort of been sidetracking from almost discussion about the Let's Play earlier, as I tend to do a lot in these recordings. I start going on about one thing and then I get distracted. Oh well. So, as I said, there is... Oh, can't seem to go up there, but there's a wolf. So, it's not going to be Vampires the Masquerade Budwines. I know that this is the popular one that five people separately have commented on, and... Come here, wolf. Get out. Fuck you. Come escape me. Silly wolf. I know it's the popular choice and a lot of people want to see Vampires the Masquerade Bloodlines, which is all very good, but there is one thing that I should have... Oh, another wolf or two here. Or three. But there is one thing I perhaps should have done when giving you guys my Steam page, which I kind of admit was my own fault. And the thing is, is that on my Steam page, which you probably don't see when you load up the uh, community page like I linked to you, 
Um, I have actually earmarked some of the games on my Steam list as future live stream projects. So, and Vampires the Masquerade Bloodlines is one of those. And also, seeing as I've never played the game before, I'm not so sure if it would be as good an idea to play it as a Let's Play Blind. And if I wanted to do it not blind, I'd have to play it, but I want to do it as a live stream project. So, what I should have done instead is I should have linked you or shown you my library of games with, divided up into individual segments, so to speak. And it's not that I don't want to do a blind let's play at some point. Certainly, the one I've chosen is going to be sort of blind, but... What's this? Oh, it's those things from earlier. The things that threw rocks and I called yetis. No one has yet identified what these are. Maybe someone could identify them. Perhaps the terracotta tiger could come out once again and tell me, what are these creatures? Was I correct? Are they yetis? Some arrows on him. Very strange. So, it's not going to be Vampires the Masquerade Bloodlines because I want to do it as a live stream project in the future. And combined with the fact I've never played it before, I... Oh, now they throw snowballs. Ice balls. I don't think those snowballs are very uh, friendly. <laughs> they they ain't here for no snowball fight. The boy picking up some rocks. Hmm, rocks covered with snow and ice, so... Hmm. Daggers not doing so much damage to these guys. Perhaps they have a slight chill resistance. It's possible that they have resistance to gold, which would only affect well, the effect of the weapon. Anyway, they want to be careful, they... Ooh, as you can see there, he throws me, but I blocked that, so it pointed a lot less damage. But it's not going to be Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, for that reason. And next time I ask for a Let's Play, I'm going to be a lot more careful in what I um, show you guys, because it's an understandable mistake. I did just say, look at my Steam profile, pick whatever you wanted. I didn't go like, oh, I really should have shown you only the list of games that aren't being earmarked for future projects. You know, games I've at least played before. Because, from what I gather, you'd mostly play Let's Plays of games you have already played in the past, or at least know the mechanics of well enough that even if you haven't finished the game, you don't have to worry about, like, going, what do I do here? What are the controls and stuff? You know, it's been years since I've played this game, but I know how the game... But I've at least finished it once, so I know what to expect. I know where to go generally. These guys know where to aim their snowballs. And again, I'm just going to quickly block there to no avail. He's going for the melee. A bit low on health. I'm going to gamble that, that this guy will get no more hits in. <coughs> and he doesn't. Excellent. Lots of nice drops. I'm just going to check that they didn't miss anything. So, it will not be vampire the... Uh, what the hell am I saying? Oh, he missed me that time. It won't be Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and I'm sorry if this disappoints any of you due to my own fault. However, as a cop-out to that, when I do get round to streaming Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and I will get round to streaming Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, I might even do it sooner than you expect, even though I'm currently doing Final Fantasy X as an RPG project on my channel. Hmm, what's this? Hmm, what do we have here? Enter cave. Alright, I guess we could enter this area. It's uh, it's only a sub-area, it's not like uh, There are a few caves around these mountains. They're like the sort of little sub-areas where you can gain a few extra bits of experience. So, very useful, basically. I think one of the caves is quite big, but most of them are small, so there should only be a few things in here. But hopefully that also means we should also get some nice loot. And experience, of course. But as I was saying, as a sort of caveat to cop out, to sort of like say I'm not going to be doing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines as the next stream, when I do live stream it eventually on the Daltworth channel, which is now handily linked on my feature page, although I'm sure a lot of you already know of it because you come from there, I will be putting all of the Vampire Masquerade, the Bloodline streams, up on this channel. So, that those who don't visit the live stream or don't like watching the live stream, this little works quite nicely. Reminds me of uh, Donkey Kong Country. Those ice levels, they always look so nice. 
that game. Oh god. Lots of wolves! Maybe a bit too many wolves for me to handle. Circle oh, I better pop a health potion, I'm gonna die. So yeah, whenever I get round to streaming it, and I think I might make it my next RPG project after. This is where I could use some lightning spells. Magic missile will probably not be as effective here against the pack, but well. <laughs> Seems to be smart. Oh no, 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 no. Don't want to get caught. That's their plan. They want to catch me in the little trap. And I'm going to burn them slowly and pick them off. Look at that. There's so many of them. I'll pop another health potion. It's just to take the fire out of me. And they don't damage much, but there's a lot of them and they aren't dying. Oh no. Pop oh shit, I'm running low on health potions here. I'm using lesser health potions. Oh boy. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, uh, I must persevere. Oh, what a good time to level up. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Jeez. Damn these wolves, man. Alright, we leveled up. And it's stat time. Huh. Okay, so let me think. What stat should I spend it on? Now, I did spend the last point on constitution. I'm going to stay off intelligence. I'm not going to do wisdom. Don't think we need dexterity really. Charisma seems fine. I think this time round I'm gonna put an extra point on strength. Not necessarily because of the damage and melee increase, but because I need the carry weight a bit higher. Which will be useful for later when the armors get heavier. So I'm gonna put the second point on strength. I don't hope not to put too many more points on there, but I think one point will be useful at this stage. Now, well, now we have access to new abilities, as well as Fireball and Snowblind, and more than kind of Sword. <coughs> we now also finally have access to the Lightning Bolt spell. Hmm. Ball Lightning is. 16 points away. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to put a point in Lightning Bolt because we might as well get at least one point in it. So I'm going to spend my point on Chain Lightning. Oh. Okay, cool. It upgrades into Chain Lightning. Well, that's neat. So that will definitely be useful. We'll be getting that very soon then. Should I spend the last point on willpower? Nah, I'll save the point, I think. Excellent! We now have a new spell. Let's test it out immediately! Oh, brilliant! Oh, that's brilliant. Perfect. <laughs> Just the spell I needed for that tricky situation. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, this spell is not quite... Well, it's basically the same as Burning Hands. But it has a huge range, and it goes through targets. Like it just passes on. That is so fucking awesome right there. I don't think I... This is great. We're definitely, I'm definitely glad we chose the lightning spec now. And then later on we'll be getting the ball lightning as well. So I think between this and ball lightning we could be set for the rest of the game. For the most part anyway. Anyway, <laughs> we finally cleared out the wolves. I've got a healing potion or two, which you can probably just about see. So that's our reward for clearing the wolves den, and as you can see, why it is valuable to check every nook and cranny for experience. If we hadn't gone in there, we might not have leveled up until the end of the area. Who knows? We probably would have actually, but it would have taken us a bit longer. So thank you, pack of annoying wolves. Now I should leave and get back to climbing the Burning Eye base. So, we finally have our first lightning spell, and that puts us at level 8. Alright, so, we will be able to get another stat upgrade at level 12, and that might put that on constitution, but we'll see. Alright, so we'll be using lightning from now on, I think, because we'll be fighting lots of enemies, and it does more damage as well, at the cost of more energy, and it will also shock them a bit, so that's good. We can see, got a nice range, so we can shot them from a distance as well. Very quick to cast, very useful. I'm trying to use it in short bursts though, because it does cost a lot of energy. More mana to cast. 
to be careful with these guys, because we are still running low on healing potions. We don't want to die now and undo our good work. Oops. Take him out as quickly as possible. Jeez, oh, sure not going down very quickly, huh? Gonna pop a mana potion. Get a bit more shock damage. Please go down. Thank you. So we can freeze them, and now we can shock them, which I... I'm not just sure. I think shocking them just does extra damage over time. I don't think it does anything else, though. Anything specific, like slows them. I think it just maybe uh, does extra damage, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Hmm, looks like we've managed to get to the next part, the Burning Eye Summit, which we will do next time. So what I'm going to do now is head back to the save point, I think. Where was that save point? Oh, it's just over here. And we'll do some recall, sell a few items, and see if we can afford anything nice in the shop to conclude the uh, episode. Which is always good. So yeah, um, I will be doing vampire, all the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline streams that I do on Dope Libs will be uploaded to this channel when they come. But I hope you won't be disappointed with what I have chosen, because it is the second most popular choice. If that gives you any kind of a hint. And I think you'll like it. I certainly think you will. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. Alright, let's just sell stuff. Don't need any of this because we're not gonna get anything Swords, better than our dagger. Axes, hammers. We have more than enough weapons mm. for everyone. I think we're going to have to keep those lesser healing potions. Now let's see, can we buy anything? With your gold, you've come to the right place, traveler. Now as you can see, that's the chain mail that we want to get, which is 9,000. But there is also an option of getting the elven scale mail, plus 2, which is one less armor, but it weighs a lot less than the chain mail. So I think, actually, I will get this. Think. Actually, hold on. Forty. Hmm. Actually, since we've just put a point in strength and we've had this much carry weight, with as you can see, the strength has gone up from one thirty to one forty. With you can actually see that. So I think actually no, I changed my mind. I'm going to stick with the chain mail because I think we can afford the extra weight now. But unfortunately, at this point, we can't actually afford it. We need a bit more cash. Strength, fixed daddy. Hmm. I think we're going to have to buy some healing potions off you, I'm afraid. Let's buy a couple there. I think we're going to need those. And that will be all for now. Thank you very much. So that will give us... Yep, I think that will be fine. 15 should be more than 20. And we will go after the old... Um, chain mail because I think with the extra point of strength we can now get it but yeah I hope you will look for I hope you will enjoy what I am going to upload and it's going to be part of what I hope will be well it's going to be a something I hope to do a lot more of to say the least of the uh, let's play I have chosen because it's something I really genuinely like playing and I've not really had the chance to do it until very recently which and now I've had them for I've had it for a while, and now I can finally start playing it. That's all I'm gonna say. Sound disappeared there for a second. So, in summation, Vampires the Bloodline streams will be put on the YouTube channel in their entirety. I might do some slight editing if there's any pauses to prevent boredom. So that you don't have to at least go through that. And um, yeah, the next let's play will be up relatively soon. Okay, I think I've rabbited on enough about that now. So, here we are at the end of the Burning Eye base. So, thank you all for watching. Feel free to leave any comments below on whether you think I should persevere with the Lightning Spec. What you think of the fact that it's not going to be Vampires to Masquerade Bloodlines for the next Let's Play. Maybe what you think the next Let's Play is going to be, which will be uploaded in the next day or two. And, you know, just any comments on how you think I've done and look forward. And, yeah, I'll catch you all next time when we will approach the Burning Eye Summit and continue our quest for this snowy landscape. Until then, farewell, travelers.